That was a lot of reading though. Oh, one of my favorite songs in the game. I love this song. But uh, Bart is going to be hanging out on... He is... I know where he is. I just need to find it. <clears throat> oh, there he is. The bridge. Hey, old man. Can you get the fuck out of the way? Move! Hey, man. You alright? I had no idea Sig had such a past. Are you still sus suspicious of Sigurd? Well, I mean, it was just so sudden. I kind of expected to hear something different, like that we were childhood rivals or something. Are you gonna join in the conversation, lady? Why don't you just come right in? Yeah, come on. Yeah, good. You just listen to us, you, f you fucking bitch. You don't walk into me. Sorry. <laughs> You stop walking into me. That's like the funny thing about this game. Like you're having like these big scenes, and then suddenly an NPC just fucking rams their fucking head into you. But that's nothing compared to the story he just told us, is it? Hmm. So hearing his story has you confused because it was not so simple. There was a time when he was cooperating with the with one of Gebler's generals. Furthermore, bef behind Gebler was a country that you had never even heard of. Hey, what are you picking on me for? No, I am not picking on you or blaming anything on you. What I'm saying is this. If you think about how he feels, then you should see why he could not talk about this with you till now. I'm glad you're coming in on the conversation, lady. It's not like this is kind of important to the story or anything. Thanks! Looking at the, the activities of Solaris to, toward other countries up until now, it has never gone beyond simple maintain, or maintaining their own empire or self-preservation. And as you have seen, their military power is immense, so Sigurd was probably thinking ahead. First, he was probably concentrating on taking care of the of the problems here on the continent of Ignis. Bleh. My god. Talking. Forgot, like, there are cutscenes in this game that are just like, here are, here's like 10 minutes of dialogue. I mean, I, I love this game, but totally forgot this happens. Once things were settled here, it would give him a stronger foundation to deal with Solaris later. Which is a much better plan than rushing straight into a war. He knew we could not win. Quite logical, really. Sounds like you understand one another pretty well. Well, it is not like we are newly acquainted, is it not? Or is it? And we had talked about a lot of things up until we decided to escape from Solaris. <clears throat> Speaking of that, why did you leave? That Ramses guy was supposed to be a star of hope or something, wasn't he? Yes, I certainly thought that at first. But then I realized this way of thinking really was not that much of a change from the previous system. Basically, the only difference was whether they stressed people's ranks in class or their skill. The words had changed but it was still no different from what Solaris itself has been doing until then. He had no intentions of bringing everyone a better way of life. In other words, he's an, he's an elitist. I don't think I like him much either. So, Saiyan, do you think I can beat Gebler? Why? Are you planning on fighting them? As long as they're working with Shikan, there's no way around it. The way things are going, I'm sure we'll have to fight them sooner or later. <laughs> I suppose so, but... Even if we were to defeat the Gebler forces here, there's still Solaris to deal with. 
If we are not if we are not careful, it is possible that we may get involved in a longer war than that with Shikan. Do you not agree with continuing the way we have been going? Is rather hard on everyone. I think it is time we try to get help from a greater number of people. So defeating Shikan is not going to get rid of the likes of Gebler. I know what you're trying to say. To vanquish Gebler, first gain their the th thy throne, right? <clears throat> you could put it that way. What do you mean, you could put it that way? But then again, maybe it is time I did something about that. So maybe we should go get that throne for Bart, so he can actually be a king. And then uh, we would have a greater support from a large amount of people. But, uh, I guess we're going to head back to the house. Anyone home? No one home. Hey, nice. Hey, let's go back. Nice uh, bottle here. Going to play some music with that. <clears throat> I'm not really sure where to go now. So we're gonna look around a little bit. I always like to check this building, because this building has some... Yeah, has some scenes. I remember this part. I remember getting stuck at this part. And I was like, where the fuck do I go now? I got Bart back. What do I do now? And then... I remember this fucking building. God damn it. <laughs> I remember being so mad about this. And I was like, OH! I'm glad you guys came in here without fucking telling me! Assholes! I went to the tool shop to borrow, borrow a table. The owner said, if we need anything for the young master, just ask for it. I'm grateful. When I was a kid, I borrowed stuff from there and got in, a, in big trouble. <clears throat> Borrowed? What did you take? A toy boat. I think that's what it was. I put fireworks in it and let it float on the, on the cathedral's lake. I always used to play navy. I'm not sure, but I think I pretended the lake was the open sea. And I was the fleet commander. Anyway, forget those old stories. We should get started. I like how uh, Bart is getting more dialogue than the main character of the game. First, Gebler is a big problem. Yes, Ramses is headed towards achieving his goals. That he is now the commander of Gebler is proof of that. A normal man could not progress so quickly through that country's organization. And now he is presently located here in Ignis. Frankly, the situation is not very favorable. We need to somehow find a weak spot and attack it with all our might. You think, Bart. First, let's just concentrate on Shikan. We kind of need to take care of him first. Once he's out of the way and Ave is safe again, we can think about how to deal with Gebler. This fucking song is so cool! Such a good song. With our present strength, we should be able to hold off the Royal Guard forces. The problem is how to deal with Gebler in the meantime. They will most likely move at Shikan's request. They're not just gonna sit by and watch quietly. May I have a look there, please? Leave it to Saiten, he fucking, he's the smartest person in our group. In short, we want Gambler to leave for a while. At least until we are able to take back the royal capital, Blenovic. These are the Gambler units currently in the Ave or in Ave, correct? I have a fucking map, this is like Tales of Zillia shit! Where, uh, Rowan and, uh, Wingle were having that that chess piece match thing. It was cool. 
the Western Guards. So we're, we're planning a really big operation right here. It's going to be pretty fucking cool. Um, and it's going to lead into, like, a really big part of the game. So, I mean, not, like, a really big part of the game, but, like, we're going to be ending up somewhere completely different after this whole operation. It's going to be cool. The Royal Capital Defense Force. And units along the front lines at the border with Kislev. That's what the art place is called. It's like Bledovic and whatever. <laughs> the, uh, there are three main groups. Each is made up of a mix of Gebler and Ave forces. Only two of these are very large. I'm surprised Kislev lets them... Well, I guess they're on the front lines, so never mind. They're at war with Kislev, so... <laughs> The Royal Capital's defense units and the Kislev border units. The Western Guard along Nissan's border are a little more than a surveillance team. In order to recapture the Royal Capital, it will be necessary to draw these forces or these defense units away from Bledovic. We have some Kislev made gears, correct? So we could like trick them. Yeah, we captured some earlier. Have the guys, the scouting crew, see it. If we use those gears to make a raid on the Western Guards, since there aren't many there, you can just fuck them up. They'll report, get them away, we'll go in. Boom! Done! So smart. I haven't played this game before, no way! <laughs> Here at the border with Nissan. I see. We'll draw them out by making it look like K Kislev is invading a vey. But the problem is... Will attacking the border guards be enough to set the center in motion? To be sure, then, Nissan will just have to appear to align with Kislev. If they see it that way, they will certainly make a move. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> You're saying that you intend to use Nissan as bait? Doc! Doc! <clears throat> Shikan is very sensitive to Nissan and Kislev's actions. If Nissan starts moving, he will prob probably leave it up to Gebler, but... <clears throat> Of course, I do not wish to do that from the beginning. But looking at the situation, we have to be willing to go that far. Hmm. First, we infiltrate into the capital. To take out Shikam, we'll have to meet up with our agents already in the city. We are forgetting one thing. The front line units along Kislev's borders. Gasp! <laughs> That's what it looks like. He's. <laughs> How do you forget those guys? They're right there. Oh, that's true. Kislev is fighting. The main strength of Ave's fleet is the battleship Kef. Kefel Nuzel. It's been in service since the reign of the last king. Because of its firepower, the whole unit is nicknamed. The Invincible Fleet. My stomach is rumbling. I recall yesterday's intelligence report said that the ship is near the border. Damn, that puts everything in jeopardy. Do not feel so down. I simply wanted you to see the current distribution of force in the area. Even in the worst case that they do come, it will not be such a great problem. They can't spare that many. What do you mean? Because they can't spare that many! Or he has additional information. The former of a Supreme Commander was transferred there. 
Not really transferred, more like demoted. <laughs> His name is Vanderkong. Vanderkong. You don't mean the Vanderkong that was in Jujen? The very same. They know him! Young one, he has not been able to adapt to the change in tactics. Particularly eh, following the instruction of Gears. Introduction of Gears. He is a man who will never stray from his dependence on large naval guns. You mean he's stubborn? He is all size and no real mil military power. An excellent target for pirates. So we just gotta get the jump on him. Young Master, this is not going to be an act of piracy. Just kidding. Actually, I don't know why I started with Mason's voice. The number of gears assigned to the fleet seems to have been reduced. Even with that, how gallant of him to be so self-righteous. Is he that much of a musclehead? It'll be fun taunting him. Young master? It's fucking Mason. I know, I know. God damn it! Anyway, Saiten, do you think he can strike our gear forces? It is not a problem. Even with Vandercom, we have enough forces left to pull off the feint. However, it would not be wise to underestimate our opponents. Let's look at the map one more time. Well, now that we know what we are up against, here's what we'll do. Apart from our main unit heading for Bledovic, we must keep the fleet at the Kislev border from returning to the capital. Send in a third party, fuck them up! So you're suggesting we have another unit? A few effective soldiers to hold the enemy at bay. A small force is best. A small force? What if Faye leads a group of gears there? Yeah, we're looking at you, the guy who doesn't fucking talk! Main character of the game! Hasn't talked for like, the past 10 minutes. M me Hold on now, there's no reason to involve you on in, in this. I'll do it. Yes, let me do it. When do we leave? Are you sure? We've come this far. Hey, and we're friends to the end now. <clears throat> Speed is everything. We should do this as soon as possible. Alright, tomorrow. I am truly grateful. I didn't even read the rest of that, I'm sorry. I closed my eyes when I said it, so I thought that's all he said. Yeah! 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 There's no way we can lose! No one will die in vain! Well put, young master! <laughs> Fucking voice. Let's do this shit! Good morning. <clears throat> What's with the long face? Not feeling well? Or are you feeling sad about saying goodbye? Or maybe you're just nervous? Shut up, stupid. Don't bug me. <laughs> well, it's almost time. Yeah, yeah. Is everyone ready to go? I'll be waiting here, so let me know when you're when you're through preparing. 
I don't really have anything I want to get. I don't really have the money for a lot. What the fuck happened to Sight in there? Holy shit, did you see that? That was some teleportation shit. I don't really have anything I really want to get. So, we're pretty much ready to go. Thanks. I know you'll do a good job. Yeah. Talk to these guys before we head out. Sorry about all the dialogue. That's kind of what you're going to expect from this game. This game does have moments where it just shoves a lot of dialogue at you. And that's what this past hour has been. I'm surprised I'm still talking, honestly. <laughs> My throat's doing pretty good, though. <clears throat> the water's helped. But, um, yeah, there there is a lot of dialogue in this game. We're going to be reading a fucking book. So, just be a little prepared if you're following this series. Uh, if you don't really like me reading it, uh, deal with it. You know, you probably... If you don't really like me reading it, um, I could say just play it for yourself because the game is amazing. I, it's one of my favorite games. I love it. Um, it's definitely a trip. It's, it's a good trip to take. It's a long trip, but it's, it's, it's a good game. Um, I am going to be continuing to read everything, but I might have short sessions every now and then because, uh, some of the dialogue is like crazy long, especially on the second disc. Because that's kind of what happened. But let's go ahead and talk to Bart. We're going to head out. Let's do this!